What's going on folks? My name is Josh and I am the Outdoor Dude. We're back again. Today we're going to be trying my luck at a local trout stream, so let's get to it. Look at that big mama jamma, folks. Alright guys, I don't have waders today. I'm just in my muck boots. I'm gonna test my luck. Got the wife's rod, some inline spinners, some little light tackle. Let's see how well we can do. So this creek is really big. We're gonna move up and down and try to see what we can do. Try to be super careful because I don't have, I don't have waders. I just got shallow boots. Muck boots aren't necessarily the best for hiking, guys. These dairies. I have kind of limited myself as far as casting space. There's a lot of foot traffic areas over in here where there's a lot of people coming in through there, but they're using waders as just a transit. They're using those little areas to get in. Then they stand in the water with their waders. And I don't have waders today. I am rocking dairy boots. Really bad snowstorm broke a lot of trees this year. Good spot, good spot. I don't have waders, so I can't get over there right now. There's a crossing up way up ahead on a log, but I don't know if I can handle that at the moment. Oh, well, I probably just lost that. Nope, got her back. Awesome. Sit here plugging for a moment. Two hours later. And this is where I found this lure hanging in the tree limbs. Oh. Got one. Holy moly. We got a nice rainbow. Oh, let him fight it out. Wow, this is awesome. Try to get this fish without going in the water. All right, I got my hand wet, guys. First nice trout in this creek. And he went right there, sat right there. Wow, oh, this water is freezing, guys. Sweet, I just found lead. Holy moly. What a catch. That makes today worth it, guys. Yes.
Oh, that was a brown. A nice sized brown just came up and almost just was following it, almost struck it good. Just take the wife's rod out for the day, try to catch some trout. A little blue fox inline spinner. Very popular, just stocked trout creek. My body will go nuts that I just released that fish. I'm gonna send him a picture in a minute here. I gotta tell you guys, that makes the whole day worth it, even if I don't catch any more fish. I had a nice size brown come right up in this little hole right here. I'm in this back pocket where the current comes around this point and it gives these fish a break of, in the current. I got a little Phoebe, little gold little Phoebe I was gonna start throwing, but I wanted to see if the inline spinner would work first since I had it on already. So I decided to keep her on because I just caught one. I tell you what, it's totally, this is totally different from the bass stuff that I usually like to do. These, these trout like to move fast in this cold, cold water. This water has got to be high 40s at the best. Now for you purists out there, I've only got six to eight pound test, monofilament, whatever came on this rod. This is a, a budget store buy for about 14 to $15. The whole rod and reel, all set up the way it is. It's my wife's rod. She don't fish that often, so this is what I got her until she gets the hang of it. There's a whole log down across the creek right here. This makes for a good spot. Just not a lot of casting space here. And in case you guys are wondering, that's why I brought my wife's rod. It is a five foot six and there's sticks and I'm in, I'm pretty much in the woods right here. So it's kind of uh, makes for difficult casting. Whew, it's almost one o'clock guys. I gotta pick up my nephews off the bus today. Oh. All right. Some drainage from another small creek up the way now a lot of times when it's warmer out that'll be a perfect spot to catch some fish they'll be looking for that cooler water all right guys we're gonna hit up a different spot check with you in a moment and we're at the next spot all right <sighs> sorry about the wind guys if it is a problem i have a pretty low budget wind muff on here I do not know if it's working. Okay. We're gonna jump on down and we're gonna fish this little area. That All right, already caught one on the spinner bait, so we're gonna keep rocking it. Oh, this looks really good right here. I might switch to the little Phoebe. All right, we're switching guys. While I'm hiking the creeks and stuff like this, I like to uh, just bring a small box of tackle with me of some necessities, some small stuff that I know I'm going to need. 
and fishing with a spinning bait like this I'm using a small snap swivel so it makes changing baits pretty easy we're gonna switch it up to what I've heard is the trout killer if that doesn't work I still have some daredevils and I got some other tricks up my sleeve guys but I'm worried about time I should be leaving already All right, we're back. The battery died, guys. We're in the car now, as you can see. Uh, it's probably pre pretty obvious. Um, battery died on me. I left the batteries up in the car. And on top of that, I have to go get my nephews off the bus. It's about that time. So, unfortunately, it's one fish for today's video. But we're going to get them better next time, and you won't be disappointed. First time trout fishing in a long time. So this was pretty cool to be able to catch at least a really a nice-sized one. That was a pretty good size, and I'm just happy to be able to get out after stuck inside all winter, guys. Guys, I want to thank you guys for watching so much. If you like this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button right there, and make sure you hit one of these two videos if you haven't seen these yet. And how about that one? And I'll see you guys next time.